Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Well, what are we working on today? Well, today I'm doing kind of a unique little project. And uh, I have to tell you, it's, uh, you know, it's a tribute to my dad. Uh, this is a light fixture that he had handmade at some point in time. You know, he restored a uh, gas pump, an old vintage gas pump, and I'll show, show you a couple of pictures of that. So this was one of the original globes or housings that came on it. This was, uh, you know, the mobile glass you can see here uh, from the gas pump. And he had actually made a light fixture. He fabricated this bracket, and, uh, you know, made just kind of a unique little design to it. And uh, this was on my house growing up. So we had a detached garage, what we called the hot rod shop, where he always built his cars and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, when he passed away and uh, we moved down to the house down there, uh, one of the things I did was I took the light off the house. I wasn't gonna let, you know, we uh, actually rent the house out, but I wasn't gonna have tenants in there and stuff. So the uh, there's some sentimental value to this light fixture. So I took it out and I thought, well, I'll bring it with me. So here we are, you know, fast forward three years later and uh, this thing's been sitting in my garage and uh, the anniversary of his passing is coming up. And I thought, what a better tribute to him than to make a new light fixture. And let me show you where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a little modern twist on it. But uh, this is where it's gonna go. This is on our patio. And as you can see, when you come up the driveway and everything, this light fixture right here is fairly visible. So I thought this would be a great place to put that light fixture. So that's the plan. I'm gonna do a little tribute project here for my dad. Uh, it's kind of like second generation. But uh, I'm gonna do things a little different. I'm gonna make it a little more radical. So instead of using this bracket, which he used back in the, uh, I don't know, this was probably back in the 80s when he built that, you know, I'm sure he was working off of whatever parts he had laying around. You can see it looks like old ceiling fan parts and everything else that he used to make that bracket. I'm gonna do a little more modern twist to this thing. Uh, I'm gonna use, make it look a little more industrial. Bear with me here, guys, as I try to put all of this together, holding one hand on the camera and one on the deal. But it's gonna kinda look like this. And of course, I'm gonna weld this up, you know, so uh, that bracket will be, uh, the black bar will definitely be shortened in that regard. But that should sit up there like so. Let's just say like that. And then down here on this end, I'm gonna use something a little unique to make my base plate to go on the wall. I'm all about recycling stuff. And you know, I, my goal is to do this project for less than $5. I'm cheap guys, sorry. So this is gonna be my base plate that's actually gonna go over that cover right there. So I'll spray paint that black along with the deal. So when you first look up there, I don't know, some people may notice it, others may not, but it's kind of what the uh, your mounting bracket's gonna look like to your uh, light fixture right there. I'll weld that on there. Of course, it'll be shortened up. It'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of right about here, but we'll see. Hey, stick with us, guys. I hope you like this project, something a little different than what we normally do here at Heritage Farms, but uh, you know what? Uh, celebrate the passing of my dad. I miss him so much, and uh, we'll see what you guys think. Hey, more to come. Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, here it is. It's uh, after Labor Day. Uh-oh, what do we got going here? This is Kimber, Sadie, my daughter's dog, who we're dog sitting for a little while. This is Kimber the pup. Hi, Kimber. And of course, you remember Coco, the company dog over here. They're not happy because uh, it's raining. They can't play in the backyard. Right now you can see these two are uh, fighting over something. Oh, a tennis ball. Okay, so what are we doing today? Well, I thought I would take this opportunity to show you a neat little project I did. Uh, you know, a couple of things. Growing up, my dad was always into restoring old cars. There was always something around my house project-wise that was going on. That light's actually blinking right now. Hold on one second. 
I have a dimmer on it. There we go. So uh, my dad was always into old projects and he restored a uh, gas pump. And I'll have to do a video on it one day. But uh, anyway, long story short, when ever since I was seven, eight, nine, ten years old, there was some kind of project going on my dad had at the house. Uh, he always had buddies over that were into street rods or antique cars, hence the 48 Ford if you've seen in our other videos, and uh, the 55 Chevy, which he helped me restore. But uh, he restored a gas tank, and or excuse me, a gas pump, an old vintage pump, and I'll show I've got it in the game room and I'll show it to you guys down the road, but one of the things he did was on the outside of our house back in East Texas, the home I grew up in, was he uh, put a light on the outside of the house utilizing the mobile oil gas. And that's actually glass. Now the frame around it is plastic, that's a restoration, but uh, pretty neat deal. So this used to be on my childhood home on the shop he had behind the house. And uh, when my dad passed away and my mom moved down to the house, you know, that was one thing I was not gonna let get away. So I took it down. However, it did not have this base on it. He had a different base that rusted out and rotted. So for about the last 10 years, this thing has just been sitting and uh, hadn't even been utilized. So this past year, COVID time, you know, not traveling as much, got my afternoons and nights free. I decided I was gonna make a light fixture to go on my back porch here at the corporate offices. So if you remember earlier in the year, bear with me, I also have several videos out there where I installed a sliding gate on the driveway. Well, when I was doing all of the fence work, I actually had some leftover metal. And uh, so you can see this is actually a two by two powder coated fence post that was left over from the fence project. Put a cap on the end of it. And I was like, well, how am I gonna make a base to put this on the wall? Well, looky here. I had an old leftover saw blade from a circular saw. I actually just took it, welded it to the post, ran my wires up through here, had this nice little aluminum base, which was from the original light at my homestead. And anyway, Nice little tribute to my dad. Uh, so that is a COVID-19 project that I would have never had time to complete if it wasn't for the fact I'm not traveling as much as I used to. And uh, it's really cool. This kind of gives, uh, you know, it's a conversation piece on the patio and uh, I like it. You know, mobile gas, big icon. You know, in downtown Dallas, they have the uh, Pegasus flying downtown or at least it was until they removed it recently. But uh, anyway, just thought I would share that video with you on a small project I've been working on. I don't know if you'd call this memorabilia or what, but it's a, a part of my childhood memory and uh, means a lot to me. And I know my dad would be happy that uh, it's here on my patio at the homestead. So uh, anyway, hope you guys like that, but it just shows you, you know, you think about things, be a little creative, uh, you know, let your free spirit fly and, uh, you know, it's okay to create and design stuff. And uh, I really had fun on that little project. It wasn't too bad, but uh, I thought the saw blade turned out to be a very nice base to actually mount the, uh, the light. Worked out well, I'm pretty happy with it. Hey guys, tell me what you think. Hope you enjoy this and um, we'll have some other videos coming shortly, uh, very similar to this project. If you're not a member to the channel, please subscribe. You'll see we got a wide variety of things. Most of the time it's farm related, uh, either ranching or cattle or land improvement or pecan trees. But you'll also see a lot of uh, product reviews and just things I like. You want me to tell you what I really like? Here it is, September 9th. It is raining cats and dogs in Texas. And I'm so happy because this past weekend I shredded all of my pastures up at the farm. So this rain is going to tremendously help all of the grass up at the farm. So uh, anyway, hope you guys like what you see. Hey, thanks again, man. Please subscribe, leave us a comment. I'll stop by and check out your channel. But the mobile gas memorabilia patio light, that's the project today. Thanks guys, glory be to God.